Hi there friends, today we're going to be reading a book called Backyard Insects. And we can't see it on the cover here because there's a sticker, but it's by Millicent E. Selson and Ronald Gore. It's a long, interesting book, so stick with me. We're going to read through this. Did you know that there are maybe more than a thousand different kinds of insects in your own backyard? They live in the grass, on bushes and trees, under rocks, and in the soil. Hungry birds, frogs, lizards, and spiders are always searching for these insects to eat. But insects can escape from them in surprising ways. Hidden Insects Can you find the three moths in these pictures? Can a hungry bird find them easily? One looks like bark. One looks like part of a branch. One looks like the forest floor it is resting on. So I found this one here, and this one here, and then this one, well, yeah, here. Boy, it, this that one's really hard for me to see. Can you find them? They have camouflage. Look for twigs with legs and you will find the walking sticks in these pictures. One is green and matches the green twigs. The other is brown and matches the brown twigs of the tree it feeds on. Look at that thing! That's actually an insect. It's not a stick. I mean, there's a stick, right? It looks like a stick. Is it a young leaf? Suddenly it moves. Now you know it is really an insect. It is called a plant hopper. If you get too close, it will jump to the opposite side of the stem. The veins on its wings are just like the veins of a young leaf. It really does look like a leaf. I've seen many of these bugs around where we live, so take a look. You might find some of them. This insect sings all night. During the day, it sits quietly. It looks like a leaf, too. It is a katydid. Can you find it? Bingo. You really have to look three or four times to find the stink bug resting on this bark. It is very hard to find. It also gives off a bad odor that helps keep enemies away. Can you find it? Look. It really stinks. I've caught those before and believe me, they do. Some caterpillars are hard to find too. Find the one that looks like the rolled edge of a leaf. Find the one that looks like a spike of grass. Ah, uh, here we go. It looks like the rolled edge of a leaf and this one looks like the spike of grass. Just right like here. Looks like a spike of grass. Find the caterpillar that looks like the leaves of a plant. Mm, I think it's here, but it's really hard to see. Find the one that looks like a twig. There's a twig and there's a caterpillar. Amazing. And find the one that looks like the flowers it is resting on. I can't see it, guys. I think it's here, but I'm not 100% sure. These insects can hide very well. The bag worm, This bagworm caterpillar carries its bag around the way a snail carries its shell. The bag is made of twigs and pieces of leaves held together by silk. Look at the top of this photo. See how the caterpillar comes part way out of the bag to munch on green leaves. Just a little bit is coming out. So it's carrying around some stuff so you can't see it. After feeding all summer, it attaches the bag to a twig. Bing. There it changes into an adult moth. Pretty amazing stuff. A frothy bunch of bubbles is fastened to a tender plant stem. An insect is hidden inside. It sucks plant juices hour after hour and gives off the soapy liquid that covers it. It is called a frog hopper. When insects are hidden or look like the place where they live, they are protected from their enemies. This kind of protection is called natural camouflage. That's, I've never seen anything like that in my life. Insects with warning colors. Not all insects are hard to find. Many of them have very bright colors. Their enemies can easily see them, but they do not go after them. The bright bands of black and yellow on bees, so you have the black and the yellow, and wasps are warning colors that give the message, I sting. Toads try to catch honeybees, but after they get stung a few times, they leave them alone, even though they are very hungry. There's a bee, there's a wasp. I've been stung by them, and it really hurts, so 
stay away. Look at the warning and stay away. Brightly colored ladybird beetles or ladybugs give the message, I taste bad and are not eaten by many birds. The monarch butterfly has orange and black colors. You get the orange and then the black. The colors warn that this butterfly is bitter and poisonous. If a bird swallows a monarch butterfly, it gets sick and throws up. After that, it does not try to eat monarch butterflies. The monarch butterfly gets its poison from a plant called milkweed. It feeds on this plant when it is a caterpillar. The caterpillar shows warning colors too and is also poisonous. Milkweed beetle. Many other insects with warning colors live on plants in the milkweed family. Look at the bright colors of the milkweed beetle. The milkweed bug and the caterpillar of the harlequin moth. Birds leave these poisonous insects alone once they have tried them. Once they try to eat these things, they say, nope, not anymore. Copycat insects. Look at the two butterflies in the pictures. One is a monarch butterfly. The other is a victory, a viceroy. I'm sorry, a viceroy butterfly that looks almost exactly like it. There is a small difference. A dark line across the viceroy's hind legs. Can you find it? Well, this is the monarch butterfly, and this is the viceroy butterfly. A dark line across the viceroy's hind wings. I think I said legs. <laughs> hind wings, okay. And I found it. There's that dark line. Boy, they sure do look alike. The caterpillars of the viceroys do not feed on milkweed, so they do not have any milkweed poison in them, but birds leave viceroys alone because they are copies or mimics of the monarchs. That is very interesting. Here are three insects that mimic the colors of wasps. One is a fly, one is a beetle, one is a moth. What? That looks really scary. All are harmless, but their enemies avoid these wasp colors. I would too. I think it's a safe thing to just assume that it's not good for you. <laughs> scary insects. Some insects flash bright spots of color that look like eyes. Look at those things. The, I think you say, Cecropia. The Cecropia silkworm moth spreads its wings. Suddenly it becomes a giant face with big eyes. Even, caterpill even caterpillars flash eyes. This caterpillar of the swallowtail butterfly can suddenly show an enormous pair of false eyes. See those? Those are fake. But it, it almost looks like a snake, the thing is so, you know, the way it looks. The false eyes are just spots of color on the caterpillar's skin, but these spots frighten away many birds because a bird's own enemies, owls, cats, and hawks, have such eyes. A swallowtail's real eyes are tiny. They are on the sides of the head in front of the false eyes. So they're around here somewhere, but all I can see is the big false eyes. Birds may stay away from this click beetle too, because the patches of color on its back look like big eyes. The click beetle has still another way of protecting itself from enemies. When it is touched, it gives a loud click. Then it tucks up its legs and drops to the ground. It usually lands on its back. It lies still for a few minutes, then suddenly, click! It snaps into the air and lands on its feet. It may get away before the bird picks it up. Imagine coming face to face with this monster while climbing your favorite hickory tree. It is called the hickory horned devil. It can get to be seven inches long. It can get to be as fat as a big cigar. It also has eight long, black-tipped orange horns when attacked, this caterpillar whips its horns from side to side. Most birds leave and look for another insect meal. I would leave if I was looking for, for insects too. Like for, no, forget that. Insects with two heads? Will this gray hair streak butterfly fly away? To the left or to the right? Where is its head? When attacked, the butterfly darts off. Often it leaves its enemy with a piece of wing instead of its head. So you can't really tell with this butterfly. Anyway, interesting stuff. Insects have so many ways to escape. You might wonder, are they ever found and eaten? They are. 
but the ones that are hidden or have warning colors or look like bad tasting insects or scare off their enemies are the ones who live the longest. They lay the most eggs that grow up into insects like themselves. These insects survive better than the ones that do not have such protection. Wow. This was a very interesting book. I like to read it. I found it in our school library. You might be able to find it in the public library. And if you really like it, you might be able to find it and buy it. Anyway, find out about insects. There are a lot of ways you can do that. Look in the library. Look online. You can Google these different things and learn as much as you possibly can. So you can be an insect expert. I really appreciate you reading with me, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Bye. S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E. Subscribe.